Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and happy Halloween weekend. I've got a different Halloween inspired mug this week. Last week I had a little ghost and this week I have got a little white pumpkin mug. We are back this week with a brand new video and it's gonna be a slightly different video. I'm not doing a haul, but I'm doing more of a styling video because I actually recently got my hands on a pair of ultra mini Uggs. I feel like no one will appreciate this video as much as me because I literally searched every single day on the Ugg website for them to come back in stock. I managed to get my hands on the black ultra minis last year, but this year I really wanted to get a beige pair because I wear so many beige outfits. I just really wanted a nice pair of beige ultra mini Uggs and I feel like they go with every single outfit that I ever want to wear. I always think a pair of ultra mini Uggs in beige would look good with that. So I finally got my hands on a pair. Literally searched every single day like multiple times throughout the day. I was at uni checking like it was a tab constantly open on my like laptops that I could always check. I went on at like just before seven in the morning. I think I woke up before my alarm for work, checked the website and they were in stock and I was literally like full awake i was like i've literally not even woken up yet but i was like making this order of uggs so i can now say i own a pair of ultra mini uggs and because of the stress that it caused me i thought why not do a whole dedicated youtube video just for these uggs i picked them up in the mustard seed color which i love i think they're really nice like beige but not brown color they're just a really nice color but i think i'm actually getting these as like a kind of birthday present because my mum never knows what to buy me and obviously i bought these and she was like do you want me to just pay for them for your birthday Day. so she took them away for me to not see until my birthday and then I was like can I have them back so I can do a YouTube video on it I feel like these are the essential thing in your wardrobe for autumn winter I wear them with every outfit honestly they go with everything so that is why I thought I would do this video so I'm gonna be styling I think I've got five or six outfits I think it's five outfits just to show you some like different ways of how I would style them like casually maybe a little bit more like cute a little bit more dressy just basically how I would wear my Uggs and hopefully it gives you some ideas and then I did pick up some new bits as well so it's kind of a little mini haul as well I guess but also some of the bits you might probably have in your wardrobe already. So I'm going to start with outfit number one. For trousers I'm going to be pairing these trousers which I picked up from Primark. I think I picked them up last year but I'm pretty sure they brought them back round again this year. I always get compliments when I wear these. I've had so many people ask me where they're from and they are a really really good quality pair of trousers. I've worn them so many times as well. They're just like a staple in my wardrobe and they are some like almost flared kind of trousers but they're in a material cottony like stretchy material and then they've got a tailored like stitch down the front as well and then I'm gonna pair just a chunky roll neck jumper with it so last year I was on the hunt for a good chunky roll neck jumper for the longest time and I came across these ones from Miss Pap so I picked one up in black which I'm gonna use in another outfit and then this cream one and again they are just like my go-to jumpers they go to work I wear them out and then a new purchase for this year is this coat and I picked this up from it was actually from TK Maxx it was a bit of a bargain it's out from TK Maxx but it is Zara and on the label it said it's 150 pounds and I paid 40 pounds so I feel like this was the deal of autumn for me it's a really nice long line almost felt or wool I think it is wool coat it's so heavy and such good quality because obviously it is Zara and it was meant to be 150 pounds which for a coat is expensive so I was like I have found the right bargain here again I've worn this so many times already it just goes with everything and I feel like it looks really smart when I've worn it I've had so many compliments on it as well I definitely think investing in a good coat for autumn winter is like the way to go and then you can style it in so many different ways I picked up this hat this year from ASOS this is the new era cap I got it in the beige with the white logo and I just got this from ASOS literally like a couple of weeks ago because my one that I have is slightly different but kind of the same color and it's slightly ruined so I wanted to get a new one and I like the white logo on this one then I like to dress up my outfits with maybe like a designer bag or a different style bag so this coach cream bag again I've worn it so many times I've taken it away I'm slightly annoyed at myself because where I've taken it away on holiday the logo has got quite scratched which I'm very very sad about it's actually kind of sad to look at if I look at it for too long but like a cream bag is just like an essential because I pair it with all of my cream outfits this is a really good video for me to do because it keeps keeps like a diary of all of the outfits that I could potentially wear if I ever went out in the future because I don't go out much that sounds very unsociable of me 
but when I do go out I feel like I really struggle to think of outfits and then when I do YouTube videos and hauls and stuff I do so many outfits so this is a really good video for me to do because now I just have a long and diary of outfits that I can wear if I ever go out it's an all cream kind of 50 shades of beige outfit I would wear this to like if I went London for like a brunch date maybe I mean I'm hopefully planning to go up to London a couple of times over the next few weeks because my birthday is coming up the year has just flown by and it's actually my birthday in like two weeks time just over a week actually I'm gonna be turning 22 and I just feel like I've got no plans and maybe even go on a city break so this would be a really nice outfit for a city break as well I am such a cap person I love to put a cap on normally if I've not got makeup on then I will just shove a cap on because it kind of covers your face a little bit but I do like wearing caps as well just genuinely and then this coat again was such a good purchase for this year because I just know I will wear it so much staple of the outfit the ultra mini Uggs which if I didn't own these I don't know what shoes I would wear and I just know I'd be so warm in this outfit it's perfect for like winter wonderland I would wear this to winter wonderland so this is just the outfit at full length and you can see the little ultra mini Uggs as well go perfectly. Could potentially be my favourite, being the first one as well. This is the next outfit. So we are going with comfort, I think, with these outfits would be the way to describe it. So I've got these Zara trousers that I picked up in the sale maybe last year. They are just some black, stretchy, almost flared trousers which again i wear all the time and i'm worried that they're going to go bobbly because i wear them so much but this is the black roll neck jumper of this one and then this is actually a new jacket this year again i kind of got gifted this from plt and i've worn it already so many times it's just a really good color jacket to wear throughout autumn where it's not too cold but you kind of just want like a cozy jacket on this oversized leather jacket in this beige color really good as well because the sleeves are quite like puffy and big so you can get like a jumper underneath i think i'm just going to pop another cap on with this outfit although it has got fluff all over it and this cap i got from adenola so it's their black cap and it's just got the beige adenola on it so i thought the beige time with the beige ultra minis and then i'm also going to wear my adenola tote bag so this is kind of more of like an athleisure casual athleisure look you need to invest in this bag because it is the thickest most good quality bag it fits so much in it it's absolutely huge it will not break on you i've taken this this is like my airport bag because i just can fit so much in it and it goes over your shoulder if there's one bag you get you need to get this adenola bag this is outfit number two again this is what i mean about the hat it's just a slightly different fit but i do kind of like it i love this trouser combo with these uggs i feel like they go really well so a pair of like black long almost flared trousers look really good with these uggs this jacket i'm no word of a lie is like the exact same color as the uggs so they go so well i mean i'm giving myself too much credit here with these outfits as i said i love this jacket it's really like oversized Fit. again kind of a staple in autumn winter i feel like a leather jacket this is just the outfit at full length so you can see the uggs just work really well with these trousers and they are the exact same color as the jacket it literally is the perfect pair okay now we're going to go a little bit more of like a cutesy outfit i actually showed this in a recent haul from primark and it's part of the rita aura collection and i haven't actually worn it yet but i was still thinking do i want it do i not so this could be the deciding factor if i keep this or not it's an oversized slouchy kind of wool knit jumper dress i really like the color of it again perfect to go with the uggs i did pair it in the haul actually with this hat and i just thought it looked really cute i think this would be a nice if you were going on like a city break or to a christmas market if it's not too cold again it's from primark for seven pounds at the moment last year i picked these up i kind of bought them a bit too late into autumn so i didn't wear them that much they are like leg and arm warmers from sisters and seekers they were quite pricey i think they were like over 20 pounds but they are a really nice like thick quality pair but i do think that primark have some out again this year for me be like a more affordable pair if you're after some you can basically just wear them like on your hands or i'm actually going to pair them on my legs just above the uggs because i've seen people do that this year and i think it looks really cute so we're going to see what this looks like on i honestly don't feel like me in this outfit it's too cute i don't ever wear anything this cute and my legs seem so pale i know i've been on holiday but like i literally think my tan has just completely come off i definitely need to fake tan if i was to wear this outfit out I do really like this jump dress i feel 
feel like I am kind of convinced to keep it just because I do really like it. Every time I put it on, I'm like, it is actually quite cute. When I tell you these like arm and leg warmers are the perfect pair for these Uggs. I mean, I can't even show you. Look how cute that is. This is the awkward bit about YouTube is I can't show you like a full length image. And they keep your legs warm as well, which is obviously what they are intended to do, but they do look cute whilst doing it. Look how cute that is. And this outfit, I just feel like it's the perfect little, I mean, if I went pumpkin picking or something, this would be so cute, but it's kind of gone past that point now. Like Christmas shopping or, I don't know, or I, I was going to say ice skating, but you probably don't want to have bare legs when you're ice skating. Okay, we're now going to do another black outfit. So I'm going to pair this roll neck jumper, which I picked up from In The Style recently, but again, it's one that I'm not too sure on. Like, I don't know whether to keep it or not. Part of the Perry Shan collection with In The Style, and it is really good quality to be fair, and I had some store credit, so I I thought this would be a good addition but I just don't know how much I will wear it I don't even know what this is it's not houndstooth but it's a really cool like design on it and then it's got the kind of white rims around the sleeve again it's something new and I showed these in my PLT Halloween outfit ideas video which I think was my last one and these are a pair of black leather trousers I wore these yesterday actually to my nan's 90th birthday party and they're just a really good pair of leather trousers they're really like good fit they're a good length for me so I really like them and they've got these white kind of stitch details on them and then another new purchase i've just realized all of this stuff for this outfit is new i kind of don't realize how much i actually buy it's actually really bad this is an investment this is how i'm telling myself this is an investment piece i bought this from asos when i bought my hats and i got it from um and other stories i've never ordered anything off of and other stories before but i've seen so many people like sophia and chintzy i go there so many people shop there and it is meant to be really good quality stuff but it is very expensive so i think this coat was like a hundred and something pounds 150 pounds but it was in the sale so i picked it up in sale and got a student discount on top so i thought i got myself a bargain despite it still being quite an expensive coat it's a really heavy thick quality coat and i just feel like a black long line coat that's like a wool material is never going to go out of fashion so i just know i'm going to have this for like years and years and years and get so much use out of it and then just to accessorize i'll put my saint laurent bag on and my little celine sunglasses now that i've styled this jumper i really like it on as well this video is just making me want to keep everything that i've bought recently that i wasn't sure whether i actually needed or wanted but i think this jumper looks really nice under this coat i've got five outfits now to wear and i do not have five places to go popping the sunnies on top is just like a little accessory i don't know if i would actually wear them down i mean it depends if it was a sunny day or not they do look kind of cool down as well but i would have the sunglasses as an accessory and then obviously i've just popped these little leather trousers on underneath which i think look really nice it's kind of like a different material to pair with it is rather than it being like leggings or a cotton also just with this i've got like little gold earrings on and gold accessories which i feel like just kind of make an outfit obviously i've got my uggs on i mean because this is an all black outfit i could have worn my black ultra mini uggs with this as well but i mean the beige do still kind of go because obviously there's a bit of like cream on the jumper so it does still kind of go next outfit at full length i just feel like these trousers are such a good investment as well i just wear leather trousers all of the time super cozy super warm perfect for just an everyday outfit now just one more outfit to end this video so we're going for more of a cream outfit again for the trousers i thought i would include some leggings for the last outfit so these leggings are from plt i'm pretty sure they're from the plt Molly May collection but again they're just a really good pair of stretchy leggings they're in a really nice like beige but they're kind of like a dark brown beige color and then I am just going to pair a hoodie over the top so this one is one that I kind of got sent from lounge a little while ago and it's a jumper I wear all the time whenever I just want something cozy to chuck on I always pop this um, hoodie on and it's in like a nice again a more beige kind of gray color but again any hoodie will be fine and then to kind of make it a little bit more of like a dress the outfit but still kind of casual i've just got this oversized blazer which is from plt again i just wear this blazer all the time if i want something like oversized to put over something thicker like a jumper i really love that kind of look of where it's kind of smart but casual so where people put like blazers and a cap with each other or blazers and leggings for a bag i bought this last year again actually from tk maxx sometimes you can find some really good bits in tk maxx i found this like fluffy bag and i never got the chance to wear it i think i took it all the way to paris with me in november last year 
year and I never ended up wearing it um, because obviously where you're like out and about all day I didn't want a shoulder bag just pop the last outfit on I think it kind of needed a cap with it I mean it does still look cute without the cap but I wasn't sure which one so I bought two this is a chocolate brown one which was like I think it was 13 pounds in the sale I was like chocolate brown is the perfect color for this year and then I did pick up this Borg one which I'm not sure I'm gonna keep just because I don't know how much I will wear it but I think I'll just use it as a prop for this video but this is the last outfit it's definitely the most casual out of all of them and definitely more of that kind of errands running outfit more look um definitely more of like that sporty athleisure vibe it's like all the different colors of beiges that you could imagine one thing that would make this outfit better is some different socks so i've only got the nike socks that are like this but it's kind of got that black tick on it and i think this would look better if you had the adenola ones or i think jackamas actually do some but they're probably really expensive adenola ones with the beige writing i think would just pull this outfit together slightly better than the black ticks they're kind of giving me more gym than nice outfit so maybe need to get some adenola ones really love this hat it's just like really fluffy it's almost like a teddy bear hat i just don't know i'm not sure whether to keep it or not i'm a bit in two minds this is just the outfit at full length with the little uggs as well but that is how i would style five different outfits with my brand new ultra mini uggs i feel like i've probably said ultra mini a lot in this video but i am absolutely obsessed with them if you can get your hands on them then grab them but if you're on the hunt for them i wish you luck because <laughs> i feel like i literally searched day in day out and finally got them in my size but they are definitely worth the investment that is the end of this video if you want me to do more videos like this because it's slightly different to my usual kind of hauls or like vlogs then definitely let me know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up because i can definitely do more different like outfit styling videos maybe if you want me to like do how to style a black blazer five different ways for instance or something like that but i hope you have had an amazing halloween weekend and then now we are on the official countdown for my birthday so i've got no plans at the moment so i need to start making some plans for my birthday and of course i will probably vlog my birthday and what i get up to so make sure to look out for that video as well and then after that we are then on the christmas countdown and then it's the end of the year i just feel like these last few months of the year it always fly by but yeah that is this week's video and i will see you next week for a brand new one bye